In part one, we saw how to simplify algebraic fractions and how to add and subtract them. We discovered that they follow the exact same principles as numeric fractions. In this video, we're going to look at how to solve problems involving algebraic fractions. When solving, we could treat them as fractions and make the same denominator to add or subtract. But it's much easier to cross multiply, to get rid of the denominators completely. So this is the method I'll focus on in this video. Let's jump straight in with an example. To get rid of the 3x minus 2 and the x plus 4 denominators, we just need to multiply them both up. We multiply everything by 3x minus 2, but on this side, the multiply by and divide by just cancel out. But do keep in mind for future questions, multiply everything in the question. So now we need to multiply everything by x plus 4. Can you carry on to complete the rest of the question? Pause the video, solve for x and click play when you're ready. Did you get x is 6? Quite often when solving algebraic fractions, we might end up with quadratics, which means we'll get two different values of x. So let's have a look at an example. So we start by multiplying up the 2x minus 4 and the 20 minus 2x to both sides. Can you carry on to solve the rest of the question? You'll have to collect everything together onto one side to make a quadratic, which you can then factorise and solve. Pause the video, work out the answer and click play when you're ready to check. Did you get x equals negative 6 and x equals 5? It's really good practice to go back and check your answers by substituting them in. So if we substitute x is 5 into the original question, we get 3 over 6 equals 5 over 10. So a half equals a half, which means 5 is the correct answer. We should also do the same for x is negative 6. So here's one last question for you to do. Remember how I said you must multiply everything by the denominators? Don't forget the negative one. Pause the video, solve for x and click play when you're ready to check. Did you get x is three and x is two? And did you double check your answers by substituting them into the original question? So there we have solving with algebraic fractions. There's nothing new to learn. We just make use of our algebraic skills. And you must remember to multiply everything by the denominators.